Arnie ate the donut. <laughs> There's a donut that's named Arnie? Yes, there are. And look at all the sprinkles. There must be a million of them. Oh my gosh. Actually, there's 135, but I'm not going to spoil it for him. <laughs> Sprinkle inventory. He was made very early in the morning at the downtown bakery, home with the best donuts around. Around, get it? Around donut. <laughs> and Arnie was proud to be a donut. He knew that the people all over town made special trips to his bakery to buy donuts of their very own. As Arnie sat on the tray, which had just been placed for the donuts, he took a moment to reflect the amazing things that happened to him. He was caught into a ring. He was deep fried. I'm soaking in boiling grease, but I love it. Boiling hot water. Then he cooled off. Your drink, sir. Ice, please. Who's that handsome donut? Oh, that's me! Ah! And he got some sprinkles. <coughs> And you gotta wear goggles. And then he got a name, Arnie. I'm glad I got to be named by Cool Ice to D. I looked around and saw all kind of donuts sitting next to it. There was cinnamon twist, donut holes, chocolate, zebra square, powdered, long john. Oh my gosh, hey long john, hey zebra. Bear claw, various muffins, blueberry. Hey, I'm a muffin. He tried to strike up a conversation with Apple Fritter, but she didn't seem to want to talk. I'm an Apple Fritter, and it's not, I'm not talking to you, donut with a hole in the middle. So just as the sign was hung in the window, Arnie was fascinated as he watched customers come into the bakery. One by one, donuts were chosen and placed in paper bags and whisked away with their new owners. Some went by the dozen in giant boxes. Goodbye, Arnie yelled to each donut. Goodbye, have a nice trip. See you later. Have fun. This looks so exciting. I wonder who will choose me. Hello up here. Just then, Arnie looked up and saw a man pointing right at him. I want that one. I want that one. I want that one. Moi, moi, moi. Before he could say another way, word, he was pulled in tray and pulled in a paper bag. Thank you, Mr. Bing. Have a great day. Arnie heard the baker say to the man, and Mr. Bing, that's a fine name. Arnie said, I can hardly wait to meet him. Mr. Bing, Mr. Bing, hello, hello, hello. Goodbye, Arnie, we'll miss you. I should have talked to him when I had the chance, said Apple Fritter. The ride to Mr. Bing's apartment was bumpy. Bump, 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 ba -dump, bump, bump, boop, 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 boop. Arnie had a soft napkin. And so they went up. And down in all kind of hills. He saw windows and buildings and all kind of cool things. And he was still in the bag. I'm like wondering why I'm in the bag. And finally the car stopped. Screech! And then a door opened. And then he opened the bag and put him on a clean, shiny plate. What a handsome plate, Arnie said to him. Look at this nice plate. La 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 la. But I'm not really crazy about these little floral designs. I prefer a more modern look. But this is not the little paint can't fit. So Mr. Bing gently lifted Arnie from his new place. He had a nice scythe touch of his fingers. Isn't that cute, Arnie thought, as he closed his eyes and smiled. He wants to hold me. He's going to give me little, little pets. And then as Arnie relaxed himself, he found himself moving higher and higher and closer to Mr. Bing's big mouth with big teeth my those are some nice big teeth wait what are you doing arnie shouted mr bing was stunned by the talking donut and he dropped him i was gonna eat you he replied in shock you are got him what you wanted to eat me arnie shrieked well, well why why would you do a thing like that do you make a habit of eating all your house guests? Oh, I can't believe it. Well, of course not. So, so why did you do it suddenly occurred? Why did you want to eat me? Well, because you're a donut and donuts are delicious. That's what donuts are for? You're going to eat them with teeth? Do you mean to tell me you've done this before? Yes, I eat a donut every day, said Mr. Bing sheepishly. They're quite delicious. Sprinkles are my favorite. Arnie froze. He fell sick and frightened. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Oh. Chatter, 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 chatter. But his his legs were knocking. My friends have probably all been eating. Oh my God! What happened to Mr. Zebra and Mr. Long and and uh, Glaze? 
I must stop this right away. I'll call the bakery and warn the others. Whoever's left, that is. Oh my gosh, I have no friends. Arnie knew there was no time to waste and that he needed to be a very sneaky in order to keep his plan from Mr. Bing. Shh, Mr. Bing won't know about this. She turned to Mr. Bing and said in the sweetest voice, Excuse me, Mr. Bing, but I don't believe we've been properly introduced. My name is Arnie. <laughs> um, well, hello, Arnie. Mr. Bing stammered. I can't believe I'm talking to a donut. This is insane. Ridiculous. Um, Mr. Bing, and it's nice to eat you. I mean, I mean, uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Mr. Bing, would you be a dear and let me use your telephone? <laughs> Arnie asked extra politely. Oh, uh, oh, well, okay, said so Mr. Bing. Is it local? Yes, it's local. Okay, it won't cost me anything. All right, sure, here's my phone. I can't believe I'm letting a donut use my cell phone. Just don't get it all sticky. Downtown bakery, home of the best. Mr. Bakerman, Arnie friskly whispered, this is Arnie the Donut. Do you remember me? I'm the one with sprinkles. You made me about 5.15 in the morning and I was bought about 20 minutes ago. Remember? <laughs> by a man who goes by the name of Mr. Bing. Ah, oh, yes, Arnie, the baker answered. What can I do for you? Now, I don't want to alarm you, shh, but just moments ago, that man just tried to eat me. And not only that, he exclaims to have eaten hundreds of us. Can you imagine? I'm going to make a run for it. I just wanted to warn you so that if you see him coming to the baker again, you could stop him and help the others. Oh, my, Arnie. Ah, oh, I thought you understood. That's why I make donuts. For people to eat and enjoy. <gasps> oh, I can't believe it, Arnie Gas. Are the other donuts aware of this arrangement? Well, I think so, said the baker. Let me ask them to make sure. The baker yelled to the other donuts. Do you donuts know that you are going to be eaten? Yes, we know, the donut shouted back. We're delicious. I don't believe them. I'm a super sugary. I have chocolate glaze. I have um, sugar glaze. Arnie was crushed. The phone fell from his hand. Thump. He heard it. He couldn't believe it. Arnie forgot all about his plans to escape. He collapsed back on the plate, glanced up at Mr. Bing, and muttered, Um, uh... Oh, all right then. Oh, oh, let's get this over with. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just eat me. Just snibble on me. Take the llama. Oh my gosh. I, I love my roundness. <laughs> Mr. Glaze glazed down at Arnie. I'm not going to eat you, Arnie said surely. I just want to feel right about eating you now. I couldn't eat a talking donut. Really, Arnie said with a huge sigh of relief. You sure? It's not a trick. Well, I'm glad to see that you've become sense because I'm not going to eat you, Mr. Bean continued. I had to figure out something else to do with you. Hmm, stick you in the freezer? Hmm. I paid good money for you. I don't want to be wasteful. Of course not, Artie agreed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Why don't you just let me go? I can live in the garden. What we need to do is make a list of things I can do between the two of us. I know it will come something sensible. So he took out a pad of paper. Good plan. Mr. Bing, Arnie said, this will be a breeze. I bet I'm good at lots of stuff. Like, I can jump in the air, I can roll. They both vigorously wrote down some things. When they finished, Mr. Bing asked, what would you like to read your list first? Sure thing, Mr. Bing. Arnie answered, I can't write things Mr. Bing can do with me instead of eating me. Oh. Do you need a bal balloon ballroom dance? No, I don't dance. You could use a personal fitness trainer. Hmm, I get too sweaty. How about a portrait painter? Hmm, oh heavens no. Would you like me to entertain you at parties? Arnie's donut song today was, Donuts don't like my brown eyes blues. Donuts make my brown eyes lose. I don't like throwing parties. I could be your chauffeur and drive you all around the city. But you see, I can't see over the steering wheel. Yeah, we got Uber anyways. Uh, who could protect me from a cookie? Uh, all right, Mr. Bing, let's hear what you came up with then. Okie dokie, he replied. I just know that you'll like some of these. Yeah. Okay, here's my list. Things I can do with Arnie instead of eating him. Mm, let's see. I could use you as a pen cushion. <laughs> oh, oh, too painful. How about an air freshener in my car? You can dangle my car. How about not? Would you like to, to be a picture frame? I can't imagine so. I need a new bowling ball. Well, don't look at me. Those things hurt. You can make a fine paperweight. What about a doorstop? Oh, try again. But there was nothing else on Mr. Bing's list, so they were both completely out of ideas. Oh, gosh. He's going to eat me. Oh, he's going to eat me. He's going to eat me. He's going to eat me. 
So after a few minutes of awkward silence, Mr. Bing finally spoke. I'm sorry, Arnie, but it's clear we can't agree on anything for you to do around here. This is difficult for me to say, but I think it's best if you found another home. Oh, I know, said Arnie, fighting back the tears. I'll just feel my way then. <laughs> can't wait to get out of this house. It's all right if I keep the napkin to pack up all my loose sprinkles. Of course, Mr. Bing replied sadly. Mmm, my delicious donut is leaving me. As soon as I get a job, I'll pay you back the money you spent on me. Okay? That's not necessary, Arnie. Arnie shook Mr. Bing's hand and thanked him for his kindness, and he rolled on out the door. Roll, 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 roll. I guess donuts really are good for eating, aren't they? Mmm. <sighs> my delicious sprinkled donut is leaving. Oh, should have eaten him. Bye-bye. And Mr. Bing stood at the window and watched as Arnie rolled away. Where should I go? Oh, look at those flower beds and mailboxes. And, and then there's the apartment manager's office. Oh, yeah. La, 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 la. Oh, I'm in the woods. Is there anything worse than a sad pastry, said a bird. Oh, look at that sad pastry. He passed the tennis court, then the swimming pool, and then the clubhouse. Oh, there goes the sad donut. Look at that sad donut by himself, not being eaten yet. Oh, gosh. Is that a donut? It's probably stale by now. But when Arnie reached... The no dogs allowed sign at the end of the driveway. Mr. Bing suddenly came up with a new idea. Bing! Bing, bing, bing! That's why his name is Mr. Bing. Bing, 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 bing! Arnie, wait up! yelled Mr. Bing as he ran after the, the, the donut. Arnie turned back and stopped. Mr. Bing cocked up to him. I can't believe I didn't think of this earlier, Mr. Bing panted. Arnie, I've always wanted a dog and could never have one because they're not allowed in here. But there's no sign that says no donuts allowed. And he perked up and he realized what Mr. Bing was thinking. Would you like to take walks and play fetch, Mr. Bing asked excitedly. Because you're still anyhow right now. I can't eat you. Can you do tricks like rolling over? Rolling over? I can roll over. Look at me. Look at me. Roll. Oh, yeah. Well, then there's only one thing left to ask. And it says, will you be my donut dog? Oh, could you, could you, could you, could you, could you? Oh, Mr. Bing, I would love to be your donut dog. Okay, come here. Sit, sit, sit. Roll. Fetch. Okay. From that moment on, Arnie and Mr. Bing were inseparable. Arnie liked being a donut dog even better than he liked being a donut. Wow, this is so fun. Arr, 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 arr. And he went through all sorts of phases of chewing on the furniture and barking at the mailman. Mr. Mailman. Wah, 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 wah. But after crash course in obedience school, he graduated first in his class, first in dog school. That's right, I'm a donut dog. And the two of them went on, and people stopped to pet Arnie, and no one had seen a donut dog before. Oh, what a cute donut dog. Wow. Oh, what a darling man. What a darling dog. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little donut dog. Hi. Woo, woo, woo. Arnie and Mr. Bing had so much fun together. Arnie was the best pet Mr. Bing could ever have hoped for, and Bing was Arnie's best friend. Beware of the dog donut. <laughs> Beware of the dog donut. <laughs> That's so cute. Read more books by Sir Herbert Sneakies, like Jack the Mare and Golden Hair, Our Adventures of Mooch the Pooch. And this story is so cute. So listen to more cute stories of Storytime Fun. The end.